so what is it about pop culture then that gives you so much kind of creative inspiration why why is it kind of this that you've specialized in yeah um i get asked that quite often and i think it's mostly um because when i was younger it was just kind of an ex- escapism it was just the you know the standard things where you know you're a young boy i was growing up in the welsh valleys and i just loved like music and films and all the kind of normal things so when i was learning myself how to draw and paint it was just kind of natural for me to draw the things that i enjoyed yeah. and they were always you know whether it was cartoons and things like power rangers or um wrestlers or uh, my favorite album covers it could quite literally be anything and that's just naturally where it took me and when it came to studying art then i think my my teacher at the time at gcse level she noticed that there was something in my portraits so she really really encouraged that yeah i mean you've got an incredible eye for 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 really capturing the essence of someone and you know this kind of exhibition you've got currently i mean you know it's everyone's there from simon cowell made out of marmite to taylor swift to macaulay culkin to to donald trump yeah. i mean <laughs> what was your what was your favorite portrait to work on out of those but also like who who proved the most challenging like you had to presumably spend many many hours looking at trump <laughs> yeah yeah that, that that wasn't the most pleasant of things um but it, it's one of the it's one of the things where i take influence so much from things that are happening in the world so whether as you mentioned taylor swift she released a song called lavender haze so i made her portrait using lavender um Donald Trump at the time in COVID mentioned that he was uh, very anti wearing the masks. So I made him out of face masks, um, like things like that. So it could literally be complete silly fun to something with a bit more of a message. Um, But that's the nature of my work and where I take influence from things as they happen in the world and as they happen in pop culture. Mm. It's, It's always really fun to make artwork of people that I really admire. Um, So when you mention people, um, you know, like Simon Cowell, he was he was a huge influence on me because I got to appear on Britain's Got Talent in 2011. Um, very grateful for that experience at the time. Um, that was great. And I, I grew up watching those, you know, Pop Idol and X Factor shows and things like that. So that was really nice to put myself in that position. Kind of scary at the time. I'm sure we'll talk a bit more about that. Yeah, well, let's do it out. I mean, what, what, yeah. what was it like to be on the you know the other side of the screen and to be up yeah age but at that age as well it was terrifying (laughs) (laughs) um i i used to be quite uh like a really shy quiet kind of kid um i don't necessarily know why i you know i was bullied a little bit in school for being um a bit of of a nerd i guess they would say and and for having ginger hair and, and for my sexuality which i didn't understand at the time and so many things and that kind of made me very sort of introvert i guess and rely on my artwork to talk about things that i wanted to say and things i wanted to scream about um so when i got um asked to appear on britain's got talent i just thought i would never have the confidence to do it but somehow I mustered the confidence, threw myself out on that stage. And yeah, it was a springboard for the rest of my career, I guess. Um, it's been a lot of hard work since. It's quite easy to sort of drop off the face of the earth after going on one of those kind of talent shows if you don't work hard afterwards. But um, at the time, it was definitely an amazing experience. And as I say, a springboard for so many cool things afterwards. And I got to meet amazing people. Um, I, w- I was only 20 at the time, so yeah, still quite young. Um, and I always have really fond memories of it. 